What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Realistic Crew Mode, it's episode 48 returning today, it's treble hunting time, we've got the rest of the journey transfer window, we might make a signing or two but I guess we'll see, but more big games in the Premier League today as we're going to stay top of the table and I'll whisper it quietly undefeated and we'll have the Champions League last 16 first to get home to Inter Milan and Anfield plus the FA Cup fourth round uh, which will come around I believe I think it's this weekend here I think uh, but the draw will be around here anyway uh, loads to get through let's get straight to it and as we turn down two loan deals because we need everyone in the squad if we are to win this treble first game today one of only four teams that have stopped us winning in the Premier League this season West Ham after our draw against them on the opening day this to reverse fixture at Anfield aim to get back to back wins on the back of our victory over Barnsley. Come on, Liverpool. I see McKenzie still down with a four week injury. Hence why Bradley starts this game as Alisson makes a good stop there. Yep, turning down those loan deals because again, we are going to get some injuries between now and the end of the season. We haven't had the classic broken toe yet. This is coming though. It's coming. We've, uh, we, we've had a four week injury. We've had a couple of bruises. But at some point, we know someone's going to go down and be out for three months. Can't afford to sell players in this window. Everyone needs to be ready to be called upon if we are to win this treble, free Pete, and undefeated season. We need a whole squad involved, man. Luis Diaz opens the scoring, Liverpool in front. Oh, man, see, so just gone in front there. That's St. Mary's, Matias Nunez with the goal. Uh, Nunez, sorry. Oh, hold well on, Curtis. Good, good ride there. So if we're just. Go on, Cody. Yeah. Stay clear of them. Then we'll need to match their result. As things stand, going to do that. And I think these three points are going to be in the bag as well. Yep, never won a free peep. Never won three league titles in a row. And never won a league, Premier League season, I should say, undefeated. I've done the treble. I've done it a few times. And I'd love to do it again. But to me, I, re I really want that undefeated league season, man. You've you got no idea. You've got no idea. Never, never done it before in the Premier League before. It would be so cool to finally get it in what it's been. I, th I think my, my most... Hold on. That's brilliant from Conor Bradley, that. Trent, now if you... Keep going, keep going. Because there's going to be men over. There's, there's always going to be one man over here. There we go. That's ah, a wonderful little goal. Wonderful little goal. I, I love moments like that where you work it to the space and you start dragging defenders with you out wide. And as soon as you do that, you can start just gradually offloading one by one. And I love the saying, one extra pass. One extra pass, man. You know, we could have run through a Gakpo there. Yeah, could have run through a Diaz there, but one extra pass. There's always going to be a man to offload the ball to. You know, kind of like rugby, you know, when you're going from side to side, like your Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj, there's always going to be one man free to the next man, uh, to, to, to the side of you. So as soon as someone comes across, you offload. Whoop! So as someone comes across to the man you just offloaded to, whoop! Offload it to another one. And then you just keep on going until eventually you get to the try line, or in this case, to the goal. 3 0, job done, and, and they're going to get three quick fire goals there. Curtis Jones all alone, all alone. Man's going to come across, but he's too slow. Ain't going to catch up. Oh, off the post and West Ham clear. Yeah, do you remember when we drew that opening day against West Ham? And I was like, oh, this ain't going to cut it, man. If we want to win the free pick, we've got to be better than this. Yeah, message received. We certainly have been since then. 21 games in, still undefeated, and 17 remaining. Can I really do this? First time ever. I'll do my best, guys. I'll do my best. Yeah, I mean, I really, I really can't see us um, setting that defensive record now. We need to concede three goals or less in 17 games. Jose Mourinho's defensive record with Chelsea, only 15 conceded in a single league season. I, I do not think I will ever, ever get there as Burnley want to take Corrali online. I wouldn't actually mind this, to be honest, dear. But uh, again, we, we, we got we got we got to make sure we keep the squad together, man. I, I get it. Goalkeepers don't get injured, but for the realism, for the realism. But anyway, uh, FA Cup, oh, it's right there, right there. FA Cup fourth round, just been drawn, uh, not in the forest away at the city ground. And uh, that, that comes next. So the, the schedule, when, when is that? Is that the uh, is that right before deadline day? I bet it is. Yeah, the weekend before. Okay, all right, bring them on. And as we see McKenzie coming back from injury, that's good news. Um, he'll be hopefully fit enough for that cup clash. Um, he's up to 85 overall. Oh, 86 overall now, by the way. 86 overall. Uh, nine clean sheets and an assist in 20 Premier League games. Doesn't really get that much involvement on the offensive end. 
Uh, but defensively, one of the big reasons why we've got the best defensive record in the division right now, and, and these are his full stats for those curious as well. What a ball, like, what a wonder kid. And, and definitely, I would say, the best we've had since Tattoo Oliver. And the coolest thing about it, he's a defender. Most of my wonder kids, as you know, are strikers or wingers. A full- when was the last time you saw me have a wonder kid as a fullback? I love it. Yep, following game, let's dive into it. FA Cup fourth round, City Ground taking on Nottingham Forest. Ames will, of course, retain this competition. We won it last year. Tough games, try and get through this one, though. Come on, Liverpool. Oh, lovely turn that is, eh? That was glorious. And Gaffer, go left, go left. Oh, wonderful ball by Clark. And can he step inside? Yes, he can. This must be 1 0. Bang! Top bins, but the, the through ball, absolutely beautiful. And again, I implore you guys to make use of being able to direct players' runs as well. You might have noticed for that moment there, I asked Gakpo to go left. How do we do that? For those that you know might be new to FC, unfortunately the replay starts a bit too early there. But you press the L1 button, that asks your man to make a forward run, and then you use the right stick. I'm talking about the PlayStation here, not sure what the controls would be on PC or Xbox, but you, you flick the right stick in the direction of where you you want that player to run. I have to be honest, off the ball movement is something which has gotten better over the years, but it's always been a big problem with EA's game. They don't really have uh, your teammates make smart off the ball runs. It's so frustrating. It's one of my biggest gripes with, uh, with the gameplay over the years. But being able to tell your players where to run, that kind of alleviates that problem. Honestly, guys, if, if you want to improve your game, that's one of my biggest tips for you. Get good at directing traffic, if you will. So on the clock looks, so we are going to make it through to the last 16. And keep those treble dreams going. I don't know for how much longer they'll continue. Obviously, last season did until we got to the last 16 of the Champions League. Uh, quarter-final, sorry, the Champions League. And then Real Madrid put a stop to that. But, oh, what a save that is. And he's there, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, no, it's kept in play. <laughs> it's not going to matter in the end. We'll get the job done. Goal difference means nothing in football. So if you grind out 1-0 wins all the way to the silverware, no one's going to be disappointed. Yep, put us in a hat. Last 16, here we come. And again, those treble dreams are still on for now. With a big, big victory at the city ground. Lovely stuff. Right, next up, Luton Town Anfield should be a banker and a chance to go seven points clear here as you try and keep the free P and unbeaten Premier League season possibility alive. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, with every passing game week, I start to get a little bit more nervous, a little bit more anxious. And it's uh, Jock's history is, uh, is, is definitely possible. And I mean, I often use this phrase, if not now, then when? If not now, then when? And I, I encourage you to use this phrase if you're ever thinking about making like a big life decision or, you know, something you've wanted for a while and you've got the opportunity to choose. If not now, then when? You know, if you're not going to do it now, then when would you? As Gakpo is denied. And if you can answer that and you can't think of a time in the future where you think, oh, this is when I'll be best placed, maybe now is the best time after all. That's how I'm feeling right now. If not now, then when? I mean, we've got an amazing team, unbelievable side. For, for the first time in a few years, or at least since joined Liverpool, we've remained injury-free for the most part, other than McKenzie's four-week injury. All the stars are aligning here. If not this season, then when? No, 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 no. One, two. Yes, Jarrell, win it, mate. As a third choice centre half, I could not ask for more from Kwanzaa. Grows like a rating or two on the bench, fills in when required, often plays in my midweek games in European or cup ties, and just gets it done as Musa almost fires in the opening goal. 21 minutes to go, whilst the, un the unbeaten season would still be possible on the conclusion of this game if it stays like this. Oh, what a save on Luis Diaz. It is still going to be, no matter how you look at it, two points drop. Leeds on the weekend, very tough game. I was hoping by now I could have taken my starters off. Instead, we're still searching for that opening goal. Are we going to get it? Or would it be? Two points drop. Musa tasing delivery. Headed away. Diaz gives a chance alive. Crowd getting shoot for Curtis Jones. Easy save. Still no no. Come on, don't lose it. There we go. Have that. Kirk is winning, mate. Last chance. Last chance. Last chance. Oh, I don't know why I was going that side. Oh, go on. Drop, 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 drop. Yes, Kirk is. Oh no, Arroyo, our former centre-half, is going to get there, and and that no, 
Oh, what if you blow the full time now? Are you kidding? Well, if it was a foul, then fair enough. If it was a foul, then fair enough. If he just blew for full time, that is ridiculous. Because we were going to go through to cut that back for surely the winner at the death. But if it was a foul, I'm not sure if there was a whistle or not. I'll have to check that back on the footage. Then fair enough. Fair enough. Not going to complain because I'm not too sure. Two points dropped. Still undefeated, but two points dropped. Kwanzaa was a bloody brick wall in that game. No, I tell you, nothing got past him. He was class, mate. Absolutely. Got, I love this guy. Seriously. So uh, deadline day is here. Um, that, that extra point hasn't been allocated yet. But um, Oh, there we go. It just doesn't show in the preview. But still five clear with 16 to go. As Man City remain our closest threat. But again, this is why I wasn't ruling out Newcastle. They're, they're cutting the gap and staying in this, man. So yeah, dead, deadline day is here. I, I, I don't think we'll do anything. I really don't. Again, there's this ridiculous amount of money to play with if we do want to sign someone. But to be honest here, for the realism, but also for this squad right now, we've got a great atmosphere. We're vibing. We're still unbeaten. We're still going for the treble. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we should do anything. And the most crucial component is that we stayed, for the most part, injury-free this season. Touch wood, fingers crossed, that remains. If it does, no concerns about the depth either, which was a big concern for us and a big reason why last year we couldn't go all the way and win the treble. I'm getting straight through deadline day. I'm happy with the team as it is. Yeah, we've got a 27-man squad. And, you know, again, if, if we do have, like, four or five injuries at a time, there was a, there was a point last season where we had that. I think it was four or, again, possibly five players down at once. And that, that was a massive, massive blow when we were fielding squad players for big games. And, you know, they, they still have some quality, but not the star quality that our starters have. But this season, like I said, the stars have aligned, man. We just haven't had the injuries this year. So I am tempted to upgrade the sliders a little bit heading into the second half of the season. In fact, I might do that as well. But anyway, on deadline day, the top deals with is uh, Isaac going to Leverkusen. Oh, there's no doubt about it now. Surely Leverkusen have eclipsed Bayern Munich. I know Bayern did beat us back to back this year. They've signed three Bayern stars in six months. Vardio's left the Bayern arena though. He's joined Manchester United at 7.5 mil. And Diamandi leaves Spurs to Mallorca for 68.7 million as well. Okay, yep, I'm leaving it there. I'm happy with the score as it is. And again, touch wood, fingers crossed, we remain basically injury free. Because right now, that has been one of the big reasons why we've been able to stay in this hunt for the treble. Right, uh, following game, Leeds away down the road. Big game as well, man. We said before, Leeds have got an amazing side in, in this year's CL. It's really, really strong. So heading to Edinburgh Road, this is definitely a potential banana skin here. And certainly, again, where I'm thinking, maybe, just maybe, we might have our first loss. Fingers crossed, it'll be the case, though. I'll take a point in this one. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, right now, seventh in the table, but... Still, that's a, a European spot as things stand. They would take that. Um, and again, really, really decent team. It's just, it's just, it's just great when the AI finally keep going, Cody. He's on. Take your time. Oh my goodness, bent it way over the bar. Probably should have played it through as well for Harvey making the run. It's just great when the AI finally, you know, build a good squad. It's so hard for them to do it, and I don't really know why, but so often their teams are just so lopsided, disjointed, you know, just devoid of quality as Haaland puts Man City in front early there. So when they build a really good team, it's like, ah, oh, this is pretty cool to look at, you know? But um, anyway, still 0-0. Good start, though. That opening goal's coming. Cody, great footwork. Better finish. Come on. Hey, listen, Pep, you keep winning. We're going to match your results, mate. We, we are not letting go of the top spot. I want this free beat, and I want this unbeaten season. Doc's history, man. I'm coming for it. Xerxes has a go. Allison beats it away reasonably comfortably. Still leading by one. That's risky from Levi, but hey, you know that saying, fortune favors the brave. What a chance it's built from there, though. Elliot, I'm coming for you. Touch. Oh, what a finish. Harvey has struggled a bit since coming in. I'm not going to lie. And I know what you're thinking. That's because you had him on the CV development plan for six months, you moron. Well, Harvey has been unleashed on balance. <laughs> it's just drilled in, I think, his third league goal of the season as he celebrates with the UA fans at LRO. But that all starts from Levi Colwell there. And this is why, you know, if you're going to play out for in the back, you need defenders that are comfortable on the ball. We know that Colwell is... Excellent, excellent passer. Great ball control. It's a risky ball to play through. It possibly could have been intercepted. But if you are going to pass out for in the back, if you've got players that are very comfortable making those split through balls, if you will, to thread a needle and get in between two opposition players, it can open up space for you to go on the offensive and create a chance whilst keeping hold of the ball as well. 
Massive, massive, massive. It's going to be a big win this at Ellen Road. Tough place to come, especially nowadays. What a win this will be. Man, you have absolutely no idea how much I want this, seriously. Because it's like, you know, obviously I've been doing YouTube videos for 13 years now. So of course in that time with all these career mode saves we've done together, naturally there's going to be an overlap. Naturally there's going to be a crossover. Naturally there's been things we've done before and a lot of things we've done before. So when there's a chance to do something completely unique and for the first time, Oh, I want it so much, man. I really, really do. Doc's history, man. You could call it all or nothing. I'm calling it Doc's or nothing. I want this, man. I want this. So did Man City win in the end? Yes, they did. Held on to a one win against Chelsea. So Gat remains the same. But we're going to see who we've got in the FA Cup last 16 directly afterwards. Before that clash at home against Arsenal. Here we go. FA Cup last 16. Pits us against... Oh, tough tie. West Ham away at the London Stadium. Drew with them in the opening day fixture against West Ham. Uh, of course, against well, who else are we going to play? No, we, we took on West Ham. We drew with their B team. No, we got them again. <laughs> it's West Ham in the last 16, Doc. Stop your monologue. When is it? When is the uh, the last 16? It's, oh, there we go. After Crystal Palace on that Wednesday night. And Norman the quarterfinal comes around here as well. So... Okay, can I play it today? I'll, I'll, I'll try and squeeze it in. Anyway, uh, following game, Arsenal at home. As we're going to say, top of the table. Undefeated, keep Man City at bay and chase after. Jocks or nothing. Jocks history. Bring on the gunners. Let's go. You know one of my other phrases that I use quite often? One gotta go. One gotta go. I don't want to think about it with them. Oh, that's going to be at least a weekend. There might be a time where we have to say... We've got to drop one of these objectives, Doxy boy. The load is too heavy, you know. We, we've got to stop focusing on the uh, booking for Renato Sanchez. We've got to stop focusing on the unbeaten season. You know, we've we got, we got to stop focusing on the, the treble, you know. <sighs> I don't want to. I don't want to. This could be possibly my greatest season ever. Gen genuinely, you, you think about this after all the, all the years, all the saves, all the seasons. This could be the greatest season I've ever had. And it'll, it'll definitely be up there if we do it. But. It's a massive ask. <gasps> Just move it. No! Well, 12 minutes in, Docs. Calm your boobs down. I know, I just said that. Calm down. Calm. This tw it's 12 minutes, mate. All right, plenty of time. You've got acres of time. Here we go. Look at this, Doxy boy. Look at this young man. All right. Relax. Have a cup of tea. You moron. It's fine. Come on. Come on. Oh, what's your free ball? What's your free ball? Oh, what a ball. What a ball. What a ball. Gonzalo. Come on. Ramos. Makes it 2-1. Is this is this the first game this season we conceded two or more goals in in the league? Unfamiliar territory, if so. Down again. Certainly the second game, the first game this season we've been trailing twice in the same game. I know that. Gonzalo Ramos. I've got history with this guy. Cody, it's coming to you. Clark! Heads over. For those who watch my Luton Town career mode, you'll know the history of this guy. He scored the winning goal in the Champions League final against me for our former team, AC Milan, when we were managing Sociedad. That was supposed to be the treble year, if you remember correctly, as well. Gonzalo Ramos is the great villain in FC24 for me. He's looking to add to that reputation. Nicholas Raskin to Bukayo Saka. Gets it back off him, and oh, Kirkus did really well there to get just a slight touch, but it's enough to deflect it into our path. Now I see... I don't think I'll be able to get it to him. Oh, yes, I can. This is Trent Alexander-Arnold. We know how good his balls are. Oh. But Ramsdale gets his hands on that ball and pushes it behind for a corner after Curtis's strike. Still trailing. 28 minutes to go. Can we find a leveller? Or is it ending here at Anfield? Oh no, 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 Gonzalo with a ball! Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Bring him down. He's off, he knew it, he started walking before the referee produced a card. 
I was coming back with boobs, but I didn't think I was going to get there on time. On, on second viewing, as Ben being the senior of the team there at a young age, saying, lads, walk away, walk away. Rest made his mind up, and I don't have a problem with it either. Liverpool down to 10. Levi off. He'll be suspended for our next league game as well. Oh, and that would have been good night, Liverpool. Odegaard looking to get around Trent. Dinks one in. Not around. Not him. Not this guy. Great save by Allison. And we're breathing. But it feels as though we're delaying. You know what's here. Jack Clark does well. There's Elliot. This is it. Ben McKenzie. Ben McKenzie. Ben McKenzie saved by Ramsdale. And claims the rebound. Didn't see anyone in the area by the time I got close to Aaron. Had to take the effort on. And I think that's it. I think it's over. And that is going to do it. Not enough time. Arsenal might even get a third goal for good measure here. Oh, not this. Oh, God, that's no. hey, Make sure that Ramos won't get yet another in a game where he's absolutely terrorised me. It's over. It is done. And not for the first time in FC24, Gonzalo Ramos has ruined my dream. Little wink towards me on the touchline. The great villain has added to his prestige. Liverpool's undefeated season possibility ended by the Portuguese number nine. It's over. Now, I know I've said this before, and, you know, I'll, uh, I'll say it again. I, I, I really just do wish that EA would release, like, a 15-plus DLC that you can apply to your gameplay, because, like, how, how cool would it be if there was a little scuffle there at a full-time way? So, it does, as Man City, to be fair, drop points themselves. They'll put an extra point on the board, but at least they don't cut it by three. They'll cut it by one. Um... You know, how cool would it be? A little scuffle, you know, arms raised, handbags, just a, just a little... Can I, is it still okay to say handbags, or is that like a non-cool thing to say now? Apologies if so. Um, but yeah, like, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool if, like, you could just have a little scuffle at a full-time whistle? You know, just a little, a little something, just a little, a little something to, to showcase how much it means, add a bit of edge, add a bit of immersion, add a bit of realism, you know. Ah... Oh. Never mind a scuffle, I would have tried to RKO go Gonzalo Ramos. I'm sick of this guy, man, honestly. Just looking this up here. It's You know, it's, it's in the Collins Dictionary. An incident in which people, especially sports people, fight or threaten to fight but without real intent to inflict harm. I think it's all right. I think it's okay. You, you got you got to refresh your mind sometimes. Like when you, when you think about how much like language has evolved and yeah, I don't, what am I talking about, honestly? Ah. Uh, I'm devastated, mate. Absolutely devastated. 23 games we lasted, but... But it just goes to show you how uh, amazing an achievement like that would be. So, I, I know. I've got some of you guys that have done it. I've got some of you guys that have had an unbeaten Premier League season. Can I just tip my hat right now and give you a little clap? Because that's the closest I've come and there was still you know almost a half of the season left it just goes to show you how hard it is to do something like that you know so wow Newcastle have now gone into second place and Manchester City must have slipped up again they did indeed lost to Manchester United and Newcastle are now our closest title threat so what do I always say when you've had an objective taken away failed whatever Pick yourself up, recalibrate, readjust, move on to the next one. Now let's make sure whilst the unbeaten season is gone, we can still win the free pay. Following game, Brentford away in West London. Let's get a big three points here and put the lead back to six points at the top of the table. And put it right here at the GTEC. Come on, Liverpool. Funny thing is, Gonzalo Ramos is actually my sort of player. You know, he's the sort of guy I quite like. So when you think about a Doc's villain, you would think, well, what's the opposite of the... The Doc sort of player that we like, you know, lazy, selfish, doesn't care about the team objective and so on. Ramos is the opposite. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. He works hard. He's a nice guy from what I've seen. Um, so it's kind of ironic that the villain is actually the sort of player that I would want in my side. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Cody clips it in off the post. Liverpool lead 22 minutes in. Refocus, recalibrate. Let's win this free P. Come on. Oh, Harvey scythed down and he stayed down as well. And here come the injuries. 
We opted not to make any signings in January, trusting we'd still be all right. And Harvey has just gone down, and that is that is going to be long. That is going to be long in the bruise. That surely. Trent, lovely ball. Harvey, lovely touch. Cody, lovely run. Gakpo, lovely finish. What a lovely goal from Liverpool. Come on. Come on. Trent, lovely ball out wide. Kirkes to Jones. Kirkes. Gakpo chasing a hat trick, but he's a team player. Says, Jack, I need to get you a goal. I'll take the assist. I uh, don't really know what that celebration is, but it's 3 0. When I was younger, I had so many massive, ambitious, worldwide dreams. But of course, as time goes on, you get a little bit older, you understand that you're not going to be able to do them all. And sometimes they'll die, or you need to let them go. But when that's the case, you just have to refocus and move on to other areas in life where you can find success and happiness. The unbeaten season's gone, but a free peat is still alive. Liverpool with a big 3 0 win, and we'll stay top of the table. How bad was that injury for Harvey? Oh, it was just a bruise in the end. It was just a bruise for Harvey Elliott. So that, that's, a, that's a real bonus there. I thought it was going to be a four week to three month. Instead, just a bruise. He'll miss the first leg of our Champions League. Last 16 host of Inter Milan. We'll come back for our next league game next weekend. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to try and squeeze in at least two more games today. Starting with this one here. Inter Milan in the first leg of the last 16. Did well to make it through the group. Only just scraping it on match day six. We'll need to be better in this game here. If we take a first leg victory back to the San Siro. Let's go get it. Come on, Liverpool. I really don't know why Inter is struggling so much in the Serie A right now in sixth place. I mean, their team's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. We've got a regen centre-half Mancini, who's 81 overall. Uh, but their, their side is incredible. Uh, you know, strike, strike duo of Lautaro Martinez and Julian Alvarez. They've got, as I said before, the best reader of the game, in my opinion, in Bastoni. 90 overall now, uh, centre-half as well. So why they're struggling, I really don't know. I would say heading into this tie... We're not underdogs, per se, but I'd say it's completely even. This this could go either way. Cole Will to Kerkez. He's a, oh, it's wonderful footwork. How's your ball, mate? Glorious. Take your time. Yes, come on. Cracking through ball. Better finish. Liverpool lead. Jack Light with the opener. He's a getting the start tonight. He's deserving as well. You might notice I do often put him in for a big game. He's a big game player. He's a big game player. Often comes up big for me when I need a man in a match display. Oh, he's been brilliant to start his game off as well. Two assists for G. And Trent doubles the lead, 33 minutes in. What a response from the loss to Arsenal. Two goals in half an hour and a massive first leg win. The job is not done yet. Heading back to the San Siro, it's certainly not over, but realistically, that was about as good as we could have hoped for tonight. In the driving seat, heading back to the San Siro. Keep a clean sheet in Italy. We're through to the last day. Right, let's do one more game today. I will come back with the West Ham FA Cup clash in the week in the episode opener. In the next one, uh, Crystal Palace at Anfield going for what would be our fourth win, uh, sorry, our third win in a row on the back of that disappointing defeat at home to Arsenal. Let's keep it going. Come on, Liverpool. You know, I often say that sometimes like a loss can be a blessing in disguise. And, and maybe that's what that defeat to Arsenal could be. Yeah, now, who am I kidding? Now, who am I kidding? Come on, seriously. This, you know, honestly, like, it could be because now it's like it's gone. It's over. You know, we can't do it. Forget it. You know, move past it and just focus on getting this league title in the bag. Undefeated or not, you still get the same silverware, you know? So, <laughs> who am I kidding, honestly? <laughs> You know I like to be all philosophical and I have lost you in life, only lessons to learn, boys. No, I'm devastated, alright? It's gutting, honestly. Oh dear. If, I, if I don't secure this title now, it's going to be a massive bottle. Absolutely massive bottle. Okay, the undefeated season is gone. If I don't... Oh, what a finish. Cody Gakpo. If I don't get this freebie, I have absolutely choked it. I have choked it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. 
I'll tell you one thing we're definitely not doing alongside the unbeaten season. Beating Chelsea's defensive record. Now, that, I, I, do you know what? which one would come first? Me conceding 14 or fewer goals in a Premier League season or going 38 games without a loss in the league? Both of them sound mental. How, how, can, how can you do that? Like, seriously, that's ridiculous. 50, that, that does not get spoken about enough in all-time great achievements. 15 goals conceded in 30. That's unbelievable. Winner, 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 winner. Keep going, keep going, keep, keep hustling, keep hustling. There we go. Don't work hard, hard, hard. I see you, Harvey. And I see you, bro. Good night, game over, job done. Well, I have to say, it's um, it's been a great response. That loss to Arsenal could have seen capitulation. But no, Liverpool bouncing straight back. Three wins in a row in all competitions. First leg win in the Champions League last 16. And two big ones in the Premier League as well. Yeah, Liverpool just hit a blip. Season's not collapsed. Nothing like it. This is going to be a massive win. Huge, huge victory here to stay top and clear. And as we end by seeing Manchester City have just won the Carabao Cup, that will do it for today's episode, guys. So massive thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed today's episode, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you for the next episode with more big games in the Premier League with 12 to go. As we might not be able to stay undefeated anymore, we could still chase after that free peak. We'll have the last 16 in the FA Cup away against West Ham in the FA Cup. And we'll also have the second leg of our last 16 in the Champions League leading by two, heading back to the San Siro. Have a fantastic day, guys. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for the next episode of the Realistic Career Mode as we continue to chase the treble very soon.